Let's do another example. This example is more intriguing because it has two mode functions in it. So we are given mod of x plus 3 plus mod of x plus 5 is equal to 6. And we have to once again find x. First, I have to write my question in a form where left hand side has only one mod function and everything else is on the right hand side. Then I can use this to apply rule number 2. So I rewrite my question as mod of x plus 3 is equals to 6 minus mod of x plus 5. Now I can apply rule number 2. According to rule number 2, this has two possible forms. That is, x plus 3 is equals to 6 minus mod of x plus 5. Let's call it as equation 1. And x plus 3 is equals to minus of 6 minus mod of x plus 5. Let's call this equation 2. Now let's first use equation number 1. But equation number 1 has a mode in it. Once again, I have to write mode on the left hand side and everything else on the right hand side. So that I can apply rule number 2. So my minus mode of x plus 5 will be equal to x plus 3 minus 6. That means my minus mod of x plus 5 will be equals to x minus 3. Or mod of x plus 5 is equals to minus x plus 3. So this is I have rewritten equation number 1 so that everything uh, on the left hand side is a mod function and on the right hand side I have everything else and this is my k now. Now I can apply rule number 2 once again. So rule number 2. x plus 5 is equal to minus x plus 3 and x plus 5 is equal to minus of minus x plus 3. This is my equation number 3 and this is my equation number 4. Let's first use equation number 3 to find value of x. So according to equation number 3, 2x is equals to minus 2 and x will be equal to minus 1. So that's my first possible value of x. I can quickly check if this value is valid or not. So I put minus 1 here, it will become minus 1 plus 3 is 2 and I put minus 1 here, it will become 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. Yes. So this is a valid answer. Now let's use uh, equation number 4 to find x. In equation number 4, I will have x plus 5 equals to x minus 3 and then x minus x is equals to minus 3 minus 5. That means 0 is equals to minus 8. Obviously this cannot be true. So question number 4 will not give us any value of x. Now we are on question number 2 because question number we are done with question number 1. Question number 1 created two questions 3 and 4 and we have found one value of x from question number 1. Now we are in question number 2. So let me clear the board. 
So, so far we have found that x is equals to minus 1 is one answer using equation number 1. Now we are going to use equation number 2. Once again, we have to rewrite equation number 2. First simplify it and then rewrite it. Let's simplify equation number 2. x plus 3 is equals to minus 6 plus mod of x plus 5. Now we rewrite it so that mod is on the left hand side. So x plus 5 is equals to x plus 3 plus 6. So mod of x plus 5 is equals to x plus 9. When we apply rule number 2, then we will have two more equations from it. x plus 5 is equals to x plus 9. And x plus 5 is equals to minus x minus 9. Let's call this equation 6 and this equation 7. Now we use equation 6. According to equation 6, this x and this x will cancel from each other. So we will not get any value of x because when this x will come to the left hand side then it will become minus x, minus x and plus x will cancel from each other. So equation number 6 will not give us any value of x. Equation number 7 might give us a value of x. Now we use equation 7 x plus 5 is equals to minus x minus 9. So 2x is equals to minus 9 and minus 5 is equals to uh, minus 14. So that means x is equals to minus 7. And now we have to check if this value is valid or not. Once again, we put minus 7 in this and if left hand side will be equal to the right hand side, then this value is valid. So let's put minus 7 here, minus 7 plus 3 mod plus mod of minus 7 plus 5 equals to 6. And minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4 mod plus minus 2 mod equal to 6 and this will be 4 because of the rule number 1 plus 2 because of the rule number 1 equals to 6 and yes left hand side is equal to right hand side. So the two solutions of these questions are x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 7.